Nancy Carlson from Get Fit New Hampshire Boot Camp, and you're cooking with Carlson's. Today we're making all day long pork chili. We've already got the meat cut up. I cut up a pork shoulder. It's in the pot right now is simmering. Um, it's just there to get brown. It's not there to cook, so I'm going to take it off now, put it in a separate pan. I've got some of my vegetables already chopped up, and I'm going to throw them right into the same pan. So I have an onion, some peppers, three cloves of garlic, and three jalapeno peppers. Now, onions and peppers, we know how to cut those up. But I like to use just the edge of my knife with the garlic, press it down, and I can easily just peel the skin right off. And I throw this off to the side. And then I can just mince the garlic. That way I don't have to have a fancy garlic mincer and have to deal with anything else besides just my knife. So I've got them all done. These are jalapeno peppers from our great friend Kristen. Thank you, Kristen. She grew these in her garden. Pickled some up for us. So we're going to throw some of these right in our chili. Dean and I like heat with our chili, so I'm adding three of these. I don't add the seeds, just the chili or just the peppers themselves. just to give these a little chop. And the garlic. All right, my vegetables all going right back into the pot. I just put the meat in. And we add our seasonings right into the pot as well. We're going to let these um, Mix all together. We call that sweating the vegetables. So we're going to sweat them right with the spices. So two tablespoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of cumin, and again, Dean and I like heat, so I'm putting ancho and chipotle pepper right in there, but just a tiny smidgen. So about quarter of a teaspoon if I add both of these together. And I'm going to give it a stir. So sweat for about 10 minutes while the onion gets soft. Then we'll come back and add the rest of the ingredients. All right, so I have my vegetables sweating. They've softened right up, so I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients here. I'm going to add the meat right back in. We've already just Brown this on all sides, so it's going to continue to cook. I like to make my own beans, but of course you can make it a little quicker if I can't. I'm adding kidney beans and some black beans that I've already cooked. Throwing in a little bit of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of agave syrup. The great thing about chili is you can make it for a small family or a large family. Just add more stuff in there, double up the recipe. A cup of coffee. And tomatoes. Um, I put about three cans of tomato in here. You can use crushed tomatoes, which is what I like to use. You can use the whole tomatoes, diced tomatoes, whichever your family likes to use. I like to make my chili so it's thick like a stew. I'm just going to stir this up, let it sit on the stove top at about um, medium low, about two on my stove, for about three hours. Then it's all set to go. Great thing to have for dinner. It's going to have everything you need right in this pot, your protein and your veggies, all in one place. Great job. And this is Cooking with the Carlsons.